Alrighty, I wasn't, yeah, I wasn't going to do a video actually until I saw the cute little bag for, uh, that I got some, uh, and hopefully this will, I'm not really looking at the whatever, but we'll take a look. Anyways, I got some, um, more great war, uh, war books popped in, uh, from, uh, one of the used sellers that I like, uh, using, which is Awesome Books, and I guess it must be for, um, because it's Christmas time, I haven't, um, uh, anyways, the Royal Mail, it looks like a little, uh, Santa bag, I was like, okay, it's pretty cool. And it's got this really funky thing. I've never tried it before to open it, but it was relatively easy, thank goodness. So I was like, hey man, this is really neat. Uh, maybe I should have completely opened it up first. I didn't realize there was this extra little bit, but uh, I guess this must be for Christmas time and all that stuff. So I was like, oh darn it. They uh, sealed it up twice. Well, I guess that makes sense. It's just like a... Um, and all the books showed up at once. Yeah, I think there was some separately, but to uh, show you what I got. Oh boy, one of them is huge. I didn't expect it to be that big. Um, holy Moses. Yeah, I think there's a couple of more that I, picked, I wanted, but uh, let's see what you guys can see. So this one was uh, Secret Warriors, uh, Key Scientists, Code Breakers, and Propagandists of the Great War. And I was like, oh boy, that's, uh, yeah, I certainly want to get into this. I want to take a look at like, like I've mentioned before, not just the direct, straight-up combat. I want to look at like all aspects of what was going on, conflict-wise, and yeah, it, it's just well, I, I want to know. Uh, and then this one, um, the Psalm, also including the coward. Um, this, um, yeah, I certainly. Uh, well, I want to get into some of the fiction. Oh my goodness, a forward by H.G. Wells. That'll be neat. Um, and, uh, the coward is also because um, I watched that, uh, that um, the movie. It's only like about twenty five minutes long or something on YouTube. It's free. It's f oh god, is it ever good? Just gonna say it's a bit of a shrug, a bit of a downer at the end. That's what I'm gonna say. And then this one yet again, like I was saying, I want to get off into uh, taking a look at some other stuff. So another book that I picked up was uh, My Adventures as a Spy, Sir Robert uh, Baden Powell, and um, yeah, so. Other stuff to read, that's for sure. And this one is, oh my gosh, look at this, eh? I can't wait to take a look at this, and I hope to goodness I can um, uh, use my scanner and pop some in for some of the World War images of the day, but this is brushes and bayonets, cartoon sketches and paintings of World War One, And, uh, sheepers jumping. I can't wait to take a good hard look in the, into this. This is just going to be, let's see what you guys can see there. Well, it's going to be, look at that. Oh gosh, I can't wait. Yeah, actually, I found out about uh, a little bit about bully beef in uh, Gallipoli today, about what to do and what not to do when you're there during the during the hot weather. Uh, what else did I get uh, today? I also picked. Oh gosh, I'm just loving this, man. I'm getting magazines left, right, and center now. But uh, I just got uh, the latest edition of um, uh, Stand Two from the Western Front Association and uh, Ukraine in the First War. It's a special edition, so I don't know what the heck's going on about that, but. Find out, and then this is a bit of a bummer, man. I, I'm really glad, well, part of me was like, oh, you, you shouldn't be uh, purchasing these, you don't really need this. This is from the Historical Board Gaming. Um, not to be confused with the Historical Board, what I, uh, the one that Manry Mike uh, gets a lot of games from. They're, they're not the same thing. Um, anyway, so I wanted to get into my three uh, into my uh, playing game a bit more often so and I was like you know you do have a 3d printer but I suck at it right now and I was um, so I was like okay I'm gonna just bite the bullet kind of thing and spend a retarded amount of money and buy all these dudes okay and this is why I'm gonna say I'm a bit up well I'm a little bit more than um, I just think it's piss poor um, so you can see all these guys. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to and first thing I was noticing was there's no picking slip that came in the box And there's no labeling on the bags. I was like, um, not to be rude or here or anything. Okay Yeah, I can tell the difference between a reconnaissance balloon and whatever Maybe a lot of people are like, whoa, you can't tell the difference between that plane and whatever plane. Excuse me These things are freaking small. Okay. This isn't like um, a 15 millimeter um uh, you know, uh, Dwarf Archer versus an Elven Maiden or something, you know, I mean, anyways, as far as I'm concerned, I purchased a ton of these guys, okay, a ton of different guys. Could you not have at least placed them separately in each bag? I've got monster amounts of different planes in, in you know, in bags, and 
Um, and the way I'm looking at it is why didn't you just go all the way? Why didn't you just go whole hog and throw all of them in the in one giant bag? I just, uh, I, yeah, I just, I'm, I just find it piss poor to be honest with you. But I'm going to say this, um, yeah, I'm not, I'm unimpressed. Uh, well, they're amazing quality, I can tell you that much. But, and look at this, this must be a Gotha bomber. Yeah, so it's just, you know, any party is like, well, shouldn't you be able to take a look? It's like, I shouldn't have to go through that. I should just be able to grab the bag and go, okay, that's a Gotha bomber. Does that not make, at least to my brain, it just makes sense. I'm like, I, I just find that not very good, especially no picking slip. Goodness gracious, I had to print that off from my old, uh, from an old email. But you know what I'm going to do, and I didn't realize um, I probably could get away with it, is I was watching some of the Global War 1914 games, and some of them, uh, they've painted... Um, They've painted some of their planes. So I'm going to give it a shot. Maybe that's what I need to do is get down to the retardedly. I don't even have to assemble the planes. I can just start painting straight off. Um, obviously, it would just be super simple. I'm going to have to wash these off and see if I can... Whatever, but that's it. Um, yeah, you know, it really was just the, ba uh, the bag at the beginning there. And then uh, off I went. And like I said, I'm a little ticked with this. But I really want to start getting off into Wonderland with my... Um, with my game and, and trying to do different things. I, one of the scenarios I wanted to do is a um, reconnaissance balloon um, thing, like one side has to protect the balloons while the other one's trying to nail them and so on and so forth. Anyways, that's it. Hope you're having a great time and uh, off I go. See ya.